sprinters, the ones that really entertain us day in, day out in those early stages in any Grand Tour. These are my top five sprinters of all time. Number one, Mark Cavendish, record speaks for itself. 30 odd stages, I've lost count how many exact stages he's won in the Tour. Milan San Remo winner, world champion, world champion on the track. He took sprinting to another level. Second, I'd say Freddie Martins, Belgium hard man, iconic rider in, in cycling, world champion. He won the Vuelta Espana overall. He's a Grand Tour winner, and when he won that race, he won 13 stages. Green jersey winner in the Tour de France multiple times. Just an incredibly beautiful looking bike rider. Number three, I'd go for Mario Cipollini. A real personality, a real character. When I was a kid, really brought cycling into the household in terms of the personas he took on, whether it was the Lion King, the mullet with the, you know, the perm, different colored shorts. You're just a real personality, a real character that the sport you know, really lacks in the modern day. World champion Milan San Remo, winner 49 stages, I think, in the Giro d'Italia. Incredible, incredible sprinter. Number four, Jamaluddin Nabdou Japarov, green jersey winning the Tour. No, most notable for sprinting, very erratically side to side with his head down, always looking at the floor, um, which was only going to end one way. Man of very few words, a real enigma, very aloof character, which only added to his uh, his, his persona. And number five, someone from a country that's not renowned for sprinters, more for climbers in Colombia, Fernando Gaviria. You know, a real exciting sprinter, erratic. If he gets a straight line, you'd say he's the fastest man in the world at the moment, but a real joy to watch. So that's my top five sprinters.